What's up everyone, today we're delving into a story that's equal parts shocking and inspiring. Bishop Mar Mari Emmanuel was attacked in a horrific stabbing just two weeks after a disturbing video surfaced online. Let's go to this breaking news now, reports of a shocking stabbing at a Fairfield church. An Orthodox bishop was attacked with a knife during a church service last night. Police have declared a terrorist act. Bishop Mar Mari Emmanuel is an Assyrian Orthodox bishop who has recently gained significant attention on social media particularly after his well-known podcast with PBD. However, a story he shared on his YouTube channel just days ago may be connected to the motive behind a recent attack on him. Let me tell you, there is no Muhammad, there is no Buddha, there is no Krishna, there is no one, only one Jesus. This TikTok clip, now the center of an investigation, chillingly predicted the bishop's demise. The bishop himself even reacted to the threat, expressing a surprising calmness, even welcoming the possibility of being called home. There has been um, a video circulating in TikTok and I don't know where else, saying that the bishop has two weeks to live. Yeah. Um, and and somebody saying, uh, farewell bishop, and we're really sad to see you go. Look, I was, I was extremely excited when I heard that I have two weeks to live. Because I don't want to stay in this world, um, for me it's, it's over. Uh, whether I stay or not, it doesn't matter really. Uh, I've had my share of this world and I, I pray that the Lord takes me today before tomorrow. I want to be with Him. This is not running away. This is not an escape, no. I'm saying it with confidence in the Lord Jesus. I love you, Lord, and I choose you any time of the day all day long to be with you. I don't care about the world and whatever the world gives. So I, I was extremely happy. I thanked the person who did this video. Thank you so much. I didn't know that I was dying in two weeks. So, um, but I'm not sure if I will go in two weeks time. Maybe, I don't know. But as far as being sick and he has got two weeks left, uh, that's news to me. So, whether it's a disappointment to some who are listening or it's a, it's a happy occasion, I'm just letting you know, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think I am sick and I'm dying in two weeks' time, but everything is in the Lord's capable hands. But there is no such thing. I am not sick. I'm not dying. Um, yeah, so I'm sorry to say this. <laughs> Maybe some of them heard it and said, yes, finally we're getting rid of this old bishop. But sorry, guys. I'm still sitting on your heart. <laughs> then, the unthinkable happened. During a live stream service, a young man lunged at the bishop with a knife, shouting religious slurs. He was stabbing, yeah. and I saw him, I ran and grabbed him from behind and just pushed him down. Look, oh, that's all his blood. Yeah. Wow. Motherfucker. He, he kept saying, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. He was saying that? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Thankfully, the attack failed and the bishop survived. This event has sparked a firestorm of debate. Andrew Tate, a controversial figure, used this tragedy to push his agenda, praising Christians for anger and dismissing other faiths. Finally, the Christians are angry. I don't know why it's taking you so long. Even as a Muslim, even as somebody who's recently reverted, it gives me genuine happiness to see the Christians finally angry about something. You have gay preachers, LGBT drag story hours at your churches. You sit around and turn the other cheek. You have no cheeks left to turn. There's nothing in this world without masculine rage. It's the bottom line of everything. There's no country without men who are prepared to get angry and defend it. There's no idea, there's no house, there's no religion without masculine rage. They've bred it out of you. And for the first time in a long time, we see Christians finally angry about something. And when I see Christians mad for the first time in a long time, although I'm no longer Christian, it makes me feel happy. This piece of <laughs> deserves an eye for a <laughs> an eye. Isn't that what the Bible says? But Bishop Mar Mari, a man who stared death in the face, offers a powerful counterpoint. His message, love is the answer. He speaks of his unwavering faith in Jesus Christ, but emphasizes that love is the ultimate weapon. He even claims a heavenly experience, solidifying his beliefs. Recently delivered a sermon that seems eerily relevant to the attack against him. Let me say this to Andrew Tate. If you think 
that Christians are coward, you are mistaken. Christ is the only revolutionist ever to exist. No human being ever was able to change the whole world with a word. Superpowers came with weapons and great force. They could not change nothing. Jesus, no weapon, no knife, no sword, nothing. Absolutely nothing. He changed the whole world with the word. There is no one greater than Jesus Christ of Nazareth ever to exist on the face of this planet. I belong to that Jesus. I fear no one and I fear nothing. Understand? I can't stand it when they talk about my Jesus like that. If the Christians are coward, Christ is the glory. And he's the warrior. So you better take that back, Mr. Andrew Tate. But there's one thing you have misunderstood. Let me tell you. And those who have, who share the same mindset like you. Jesus Christ is love. He came on his first coming as mercy. See, you need to understand one thing about love. Love is the most powerful thing ever to exist. And it is the most, the, the weakest thing also ever to exist at the same time. Love is the most powerful and the weakest at the same time. Why? Because when you love someone from the heart, you will do anything and everything for that someone. If that love is received as weakness, then it's the ignorance of the other party, not the one who loves. But let me tell you, when the time comes, love can be also very, very powerful. Because love moves mountains. See, you cannot change the heart of a person using force. You cannot change the mind of a person using the sword and threatening to beheading people. The only way you can change a heart of a man or a woman is when you show them and give them love, not power. Don't ever misunderstand what Jesus is all about. Don't ever. And this goes to all the Christians. To all the Christians. Eat everything. Look, the Lord took me to heaven. Yeah, I want, I want Andrew Tate to hear this. Yes, and everyone like Andrew Tate. Let me tell you this, all of you, everyone. The Lord, no one else, took me to heaven. Let me tell you, there is no Muhammad. There is no Buddha. There is no Krishna. There is no one. Only one Jesus. Why? Because he is the only one. There is no one else but him. He is God revealed in the flesh. God revealed in the flesh. No one else. No one else. This is not judgment. This is not attack. This is not discrimination. Believe you me, I love everyone. Believe you, and if you don't want to believe, it's up to you. It doesn't matter. But I love you because my Jesus taught me to love everyone. Let me tell you this. You will never, ever find anyone in heaven except Jesus Christ. Buddhists, stop chasing Buddha. I can assure you, you can say Buddha was a nice man. You can put as many oranges and apple in front of him. That will get you nowhere. Let me tell you, you can follow the, your three million gods, Hindus. They'll get you nowhere. You can follow Muhammad. It'll get you nowhere. The only one that truly is who he is, is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And this has got nothing to do with Christians or anyone else. It's got to do with the truth. This is the truth. Jesus Christ is God, the creator of everyone and everything visible and invisible. That's all I saw in heaven, him. I didn't see anyone else. 
Why would I make up a story like this? You know what, this story could get me into trouble, if anything, really. People might not like what they hear. I'm not making it up. Mr. Andrew Tate, I'll pray for you, my dear friend, to come back to the Lord Jesus because you made a big mistake by denying your Lord. The biggest mistake ever you've made in your life. And I pray the Lord touches your heart and bring you back to the truth. For there is no other truth but Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Despite the attack, it seems the attacker inadvertently amplified Bishop Mar Mari Emmanuel's message. The bishop's unwavering faith and message of love are likely to resonate even stronger now. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more thought-provoking content.